Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around November 11th. So we're just going to see what comes up 11 11. 11 11, your thoughts become things. Instant manifestation. Spiritual awakening. This is a wake up call, day of awakening. What do we have for around the 11th? Moon reverse. So this is a wake up call. This is um, a reality check of some sort. This is a release of fear, seeing the truth. Separation, some sort of separation or discontent. Now I'm not sure if we're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Uh, two of Cups reverse, separation, loss of a partner perhaps. I'm not sure, Two of Cups, this is disharmony in a partnership, an imbalance. This is an imbalance as well, so we do have an imbalance. We have disharmony, a disconnection. Um, but that Moon reverse, there's something being shown. Something is being seen. Somebody's discontent could be being seen. It's on the surface. Something is on the surface. I don't know if there's a partnership that is ending or something like that. Five of Cups reversed. Interesting. So... Hmm. Let me get one for over here. Eight of Wands reversed. Wow, there's an absence here. Absence of communication. Could be some sort of blockage. Um, no communication. No contact. Uh, something being stopped. Communication coming to a halt. Um, bad news even. Somebody may be getting some bad news about a partner. Uh, Pisces or Cancer may be getting bad news about a partner. This is bad news. And there could be some uh, regret, some sort of sadness. I mean, when you get something, you get the, all these in reverse, it's extreme. So I don't know if there's some sort of prolonged grief or something like that. Well, the Five of Cups in reverse can actually be a, a better thing. It's like uh, moving on. Could be a reunion even. Somebody could be... It's almost like somebody could be leaving one and reuniting with the other. And I'm not sure if that is the case or not. But the Five of Cups reverse could be somebody coming back. There's definitely a disconnection though with that with that Two of Cups reversed. Two people not working together. Blocking communication. Stopping communication. Maybe going no contact. Moon reverse is a reality check. It's check. It's seeing the truth. Um, ooh. Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords. We may have some extreme regrets even with this Five of Cups. Somebody, and this is like a bed. I don't know if it's a hospital bed or it could be a bed in your bedroom. We have somebody here that, if this is regrets. So I feel like somebody may have some extreme regrets. Okay, that's kind of like what it looks like. Some sort of extreme regrets. Um might be over the loss of a partnership. It could be very emotional. The Queen of Cups in reverse is heartbroken. Okay, so somebody may be heartbroken. They may be very emotional. Um, somebody may have not have followed their heart and they may have some extreme regrets for not doing so. So it definitely could be an, an emotional day. Uh, there's deep sadness here. Okay, there is some sort of deep sadness. Somebody could be drowning in their emotions by the looks of things. But this Ten of Cups, it typically is happiness, but this is blocked happiness. Somebody has blocked their happiness and they may be really uh, depressed over it, feeling depressed, having regrets. Um, 
oh my god it's like oh my god that's what that is um this is definitely a reality check so somebody is getting a reality check um there could be some sort of um, tears that are being shed with the Five of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. Tears, extreme regrets over losing a partnership, after, over not communicating, you know, not communicating. Page of Pentacles reversed. Now the Page of Pentacles reversed is a um, not putting in effort. Not putting in effort. Somebody is going to be ha is having regrets for not putting in effort, for not saying something when they should have. Now, this is also dropping out of a partnership. This is somebody that doesn't want responsibility. Not interested, not interested in having a relationship. Not interested in, you know, following through. So we have somebody here that is really, really overly emotional and extremely regretful for not following through for some reason. Um... They may be not communicating very well. Maybe not be. They may, may not be communicating at all with that Eight of Wands reversed. And they, they, if they don't have regrets now, they may have regrets later. Um, Ten of Cups. Now that could be the end of a relationship. Tens are completions. I do see the end of a relationship here. The end of a partnership. Somebody's been hiding. Below this, they're hiding their feelings with the moon reverse. The moon upright is hiding. There could be an expression. Somebody, they may be wanting to express, but it feels like they can't because they, I don't know, maybe they don't have the moral backbone to do so. Somebody doesn't have any backbone to, you know, follow through with anything. To follow through with a commitment or something like that. Um, hmm. Ten of Wands reversed. Now that is dropping something, making a conscious change. Balance is waiting. Dropping responsibilities, letting go of something, letting go of a burden. Somebody's going to be letting go of, of weight, okay? That's dropping weight. Dropping something that they were carrying. This is freeing. Somebody is going to be freeing themselves from something. That's freedom. That's liberation. It is. That Eight of Wands reverse, though, is feeling guilty. Somebody is feeling guilty. They're feeling, and they are. I can really see that they are. Somebody is really, really feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty for uh, not putting in effort. Not, not putting in effort in a partnership. And they are really struggling. They're really struggling with it. And they may want to, uh, I don't know, maybe they want forgiveness or something like that. But I don't know. That Five of Cups reversed, that is, uh, that is about forgiveness. It's about accepting. You know, accepting something and moving on. So somebody may be needing to master their emotions and move on from a partnership that, you know, held them back for so long. You know, go no contact, stop, stop, you know, stop uh, living in illusion because the moon upright is an illusion. Come out of fantasy land and release. There's an opportunity for happiness if you can start over. You know, there's an opportunity to start over here with that page of pentacles, even it's re though it's reversed. Somebody has an opportunity to start over and they're going to be thinking about their new life, but it feels like they're not. You know, they need to let go. They need to let go of an old relationship. That's what it looks like to me. Or let go, let bygones be bygones if it's not letting go of the relationship completely. Because, it, you know, it's... We have somebody here, that, again, that refuses... I don't know if I said it already, that refuses to apologize. 
but apology is needed. It feels like there's an opportunity for a partnership here, but it's it's falling apart or it's it's going in the wrong direction because somebody can't apologize, they can't communicate their feelings, they're hiding their feelings. But the Ten of Wands is dropping weight, dropping baggage, dropping a burden. Two tens right next to each other. This is a completion. So we do have a completion here. We have the a relationship that is ending, that is is finally being let go. Somebody is on the path to balance and harmony by letting this go. But they've been holding on to it and blocking their own happiness. Somebody's been blocking their own happiness by holding on to something that they should have let go a long time ago. So the 11th. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles reversed. You don't complete me. Nobody completes me. You must take action. You must find discipline. You must find the discipline and the uh, self-worth and the self-confidence to know that, the, that you are the only one that completes you. It's funny that this is coming up on 11-11 because we get all these people that think that another person completes them. You complete you. Nobody else completes you. Must take action. You must take action. Somebody needs to take action. They need to know their value and know their worth and let go. Let go of whatever it is that you've been hanging on to. If you nobody if this person is not communicating with you, you're in fantasy land. This is coming out of fantasy land. Accepting reality. I'm sorry to bust your bubble. We have somebody here that is very sad, okay, very sad, very disillusioned. This is a spiritual awakening. This is a wake-up call. It really is. It's time for closure. It's time to let it go. Anyway, the 11th, the 11th. Seven of Pentacles. It's not worth it anymore. This is unrealistic. Somebody is is being unrealistic. There's no more growth. It's time to stop investing in something that is a dead end. So I feel like on this day we have somebody that is going to be struggling with their independence and letting go of the illusion that somebody that they are holding on to is coming back. This is a reality check. The moon reversed. Accepting reality. There's also dropping weight, dropping a burden, making a conscious change to let go. That's what this is about. To let go of some sort of insecurity, whether this and this may be a different partnership, it could be a work relationship. There's a partnership here that is not compatible with that. Two of Cups reverse is not compatible, it's not going anywhere. We have somebody that has been investing, you know, and trying to plant seeds and trying to get it to grow, it's not going anywhere. It's time to relocate. Or it's time to choose another option. I think we have somebody here that is, is self-loathing. They're very disappointed. They're depressed. They're sad. Because... It was, they're alone. I 
Anyhow. Definitely dissatisfied. This is unrealistic. I feel like it's like, was this, was it worth it? Again, somebody, I'm changing it. Somebody may be very sad. They may be saying to themselves, is, was, is this worth it? Or something like that. Or, oh my God, you know, um, somebody may have wasted their time or they may have done something unrealistic. They may be thinking that because this is thinking. And this is uh, emotional. So we have somebody here that may be thinking that they, that they, uh, whatever they're thinking, it's not realistic. Okay, they're not being realistic. They're not being practical. This is unstable, insecure. Lazy. There's some sort of laziness here. But the Page of Pentacles reversed as well. So we have somebody here that is lazy as well. Didn't put in much effort. Didn't, didn't do what they needed to do to make a partnership grow. And maybe that's why it didn't grow. Anyhow, that moon reverse is absolutely a reality check. It's a, it's this is this is a huge awakening. Um, whew, five of swords. That's surrender. Walk away. Surrender and walk away. Being defeated. You win. This is some sort of power struggle. Somebody is really, really struggling. Struggling with their ego. But this is breaking free. It is. So somebody is breaking free from an individual that made them feel less than worthy. Because this is absolutely less than worthy. The Nine of Pentacles made them, stole their self-worth, belittled them. Somebody was belittled by an individual with a huge ego. And now it's like this is letting go of that person. It's, it's a feeling of being, you know, I can't believe you did this to me. You know, I can't believe you did this to me. I have to let you go. We have somebody here that has no moral conscience at all. With the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Swords right there. This is somebody who has no moral conscience. Don't care who they hurt. Whether they hurt them mentally, verbally, emotionally, physically. Doesn't care at all as long as they win. Somebody is letting go once and for all. This is it. It's over. Not investing another minute. So I feel like on the 11th, there's some sort of, well, that is dropping something, dropping something that it has been a real struggle to let go of, to walk away from. It is letting go and walking away from a partnership or a union, whether it's love, work, friend, whatever. It's walking away from an individual that doesn't value you. No value. It's not worth investing. This person may use emotional blackmail as a tactic. Oh, one more card. Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. Dropping, dropping weight, dropping baggage, dropping a burden, wanting to have it all. We definitely have an individual here that wants to have it all. Some sort of deep fulfillment is coming as soon as you drop, as soon as you drop this, your deep fulfillment will come. 
probably within like nine months. I don't know. And this is a partnership of some sort. Some sort of partnership. You need to walk away from whether it's a friendship or work or two people. It does, there's no compatibility there. Somebody's been holding on to it, fighting it. It's been a huge time to let it go. Let it go. As soon as you let it go, within, I'd say within nine months, you will have deep fulfillment. You will be extremely happy that you did. So, what's nine months from now? December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Good luck.